really something mainstream media totally ignored. Um, but Raw Story had an article on it and, uh, and some video on it as well. They say, watch, huge group of armed black protesters march on Confederate monument in Georgia. So, you know, you can see that's what they look like there. It was a lot of people. I'll show you a video here in a sec. Um, this is in Georgia on July 4th. And they're marching to Stone Mountain Confederate Memorial, which is a nine-story sculpture in northeast Atlanta. And it's the biggest Confederate monument in the country. It's basically like this giant shrine to the Confederacy. And, um, you know, the whole point of these monuments originally was to spit in the eye of the civil rights movement and, and black folks and, and to say, like, we have a hierarchy here and know your place. And um, a lot of people don't know that, that the Confederate flag that we think of today as the Confederate flag, um, that was birthed in the civil rights movement. It was a giant middle finger to um, civil rights and equality. And... These monuments are also, many of them are very cheaply made and just thrown up because, again, the point was to say, screw you to people trying to make change for the better. So this group calls themselves the NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition. <laughs> and apparently a little further down the road were Trump supporters on motorcycles with MAGA flags. So there was no, um, at least that I know of, there was no fighting there were no shots fired and you know the peace was kept so that's that's definitely a positive thing now gun Shab owners of Shab america Shalom. the group gun owners of america and the nra they came out in favor of american citizens peacefully um protesting with their weapons because of course these um these groups believe in the right to bear arms. They believe in the Second Amendment. They believe in responsible gun ownership in America, and not a shot was fired at this event. So the NRA is hugely supportive of this. Oh, wait. I made that part up. Gun owners of America and the NRA said Dickie McGee's axe. They had nothing to say. And, uh, in fact, <laughs> if we ever were to get gun control, it'll be because of stuff like this. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Like, I don't think at this point, that we'll ever get sufficient gun control to really ameliorate the problem of mass gun casualties every year in this country. But if we were to get it, it would be because you have giant groups of black people dressed in military gear marching through the streets holding guns. Because if there's anything that'll scare the pants off of white America, it's this. Um, but interestingly enough, you know, like I said, it was peaceful. Not a shot was fired, as far as I know. And um, it was just a show of, all right, you know what? We've had it. With the killing of George Floyd and the police brutality issues and now Confederate monuments coming down around the country, Mississippi just got rid of the Confederate flag in their state flag. There's a moment here where, where people are saying, all right, you know what? Enough. We get it. Oh, you have armed militias, too, and you have protesters, too, with your MAGA flags and whatnot. Um, and your Confederate flags, well, we have guns too, we have numbers too, and we're flexing a little bit on you right now. So, you know, if you don't, if you don't like what you see, maybe we change society for the better. You know, maybe we get rid of the Confederate monuments, maybe we get rid of the Confederate flag, maybe we fix the uh, police brutality problem and various injustices in this country. And, um, you know, gun... Guns are, are an interesting issue because I feel like I've gone back and forth on that issue a number of times. Originally being very pro-Second Amendment to then being in favor of massive gun control. Now I think I've, I have like a middle path. I think we need some